गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल सी द प्रोसीजर ऑफ डायलिसिस कैथीटर इंसर्शन इन फेमोरल वेन दिस प्रोसीजर कैन बी यूज फॉर सेंट्रल वेन कैथिटाइजेशन इन फेमोरल वेन ऑल्सो बिफोर गोइंग टू प्रोसीजर फर्स्ट वी विल सी द सरफेस एनाटमी ऑफ फेमोरल वेन एंड वी विल मार्क द साइट फॉर इंसर्शन नाउ कम लेट सी सरफेस एनाटमी now we will see surface anatomy of femoral vein so this is our maniquin now we will take two points one point is in pubic symphysis where these two bones joins another point is the prominent part in groin area that is anterior superior iliac spine this point so we will join these two points and it will correspond to inguinal ligament so here is inguinal ligament we will divide this into three parts this is medial one, one third middle one third and lateral one third so at the junction of lateral two third and medial one third here it is a point it is the point where femoral arteries lies and just medial to femoral artery this femoral vein around 1 cm so here it is femoral artery here it is femoral vein so just 3 to 4 cm below inguinal canal this is our punctured site and this is site for central venous catheterization so we have to go at the degree of 45 angle like that this is our needle like 40 45 degree angle once we will pierce 1 to 2 cm we will find femoral vein so that is the surface anatomy so after marking we will clean whole area by chlorhexidine providon iodine and spray because groin area is the infectious area so we should take care of infections after cleaning thoroughly we have to uh, put a uh, draw sheet or cut sheet only exposed to this part so this is our site for femoral vein catheterization we will start procedure by giving local anesthesia by 1% jalocaine we will take 3 to 4 ml jalocaine 1% jalocaine and we will give skin subcutaneous tissue muscle plane and we will give negative pressure to see with any blood or not so after that we will take 18 gauze needle which comes in dialysis set we will take 2 to 3 ml normal saline in syringe and we will insert at the degree of 45 angle and we will take negative suction to see whether blood is coming or not once we are going inside we have to see whether blood is coming or not if not coming we can withdraw there is no blood so we will withdraw now this is blood so now we have puncture our femoral vein so we will remove it and we will keep one gauze so blood not spill out now we will insert guide wire so this is guide wire we have to insert gently we should not give force otherwise it can rupture posterior wall of vein femoral vein so now we have removed needle now we will dilate our insertion site by dilator which comes along with dialysis set so we have to push hard and in rotatory manner so we will we are pushing so we have to insert by 4 or 5 cm inside so now we have dilated enough now we will insert our dialysis catheter so this guide wire will come out by one port this will come out by blue port so can you see that you can see tip of a guide wire coming through blue port so now we will remove guide wire after removing guide wire we will close button otherwise blood will spill out so this is button we are off now we will check patency of both lumen by 
saline with heparin so heparin will prevent coagulation remember we should not inject air otherwise it can cause air embolism so blue is patent now we will check in this red port so red port we will open the button now we will suck it so now blood is coming freely since this is dialysis port so lot of blood come with slight suction and this is how our procedure has been completed now we will give suture one more thing i want to stress that while inserting needle we should not insert needle beyond inguinal ligament otherwise it will cause injury to abnormal viscera and peritonitis so just we have to go 3 to 4 cm inside only not beyond that so we will give two suture in each side and in each suture we will give two knots two to three knots two knots is sufficient so this is uh, right side and we'll give left side also so the main problem with the femoral catheter is that it can cause deep vein thrombosis which can rarely embolize to pulmonary artery which can be fatal also so in a maximum time we should avoid to insert central line in femoral area because it is dirty area so it can cause infection so now this our suture has been completed now we will paste one tachyderm this is transparent sheet sterile sheet so we will stick it and we will put a sticker and write the date of insertion so friends this was very easy procedure once you know anatomy of femoral vein you can catheterize very easily if you like this video please share with your friends like it and send comments on comment box if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe thank you thank you very much